ALF stands for anterior lumbar interbody fusion, which basically means a fusion of the lumbar spine from the anterior part, which is the front of the spine. The procedure itself has been around a while, but the way it's done has improved uh, substantially over the course of the last you know, 30 some years. There are several reasons why someone might need a fusion. Uh, we do it in circumstances where they have an unstable spine, for instance. Uh, situations where they, may ha they might have a deformity of the spine, also to stabilize the spine. Typically before someone gets a fusion, it really depends on the situation, but you try to do everything you can to avoid a, a surgical procedure in general and a fusion specifically with uh, various non-operative treatments, whether it be steroid injections, cortisone injections, uh, physical therapy, all, all manner of rehabilitation. Well, in some ways it says that in the right circumstances it can be a very successful procedure um, and that patients can, under the right circumstances again, return to high level activities even after a fusion. Um, now what we don't know, of course, in either Tiger Woods case or in any individual going in is what, in the long term, what that will mean. His situation is obviously a unique one, but uh, Typically, patients have to have realistic goals when they're having a fusion. The goal is usually to get someone out of pain to a degree where their activities of daily living, basic activities of daily living, will be uh, will be re reinstituted, if you will. Uh, when it comes to higher level athletes or higher level activities in general, that's when the results start getting a little bit more unpredictable, and that's something patients have to know going in early on. But in terms of treating back pain. The, one of the problems we have is that it's hard to predict who's going to be, uh, who, in whom this surgery is going to be successful. That's, that's the difficult part. We know that some patients do extremely well from these procedures, and obviously Tiger Woods appears to be one of them, but there are some patients who don't do very well. And it's, it can be very difficult to distinguish those patients uh, preoperatively.